Let's get you up to the farm and you can have a feed. Then you can all have a rest. Rest? I've lost me ship. How do I rest? The one that's missing. He's past the headland, unconscious. Coming! Lewis! I hope he's not too badly hurt. Too bad if he is. It was him that put us on the rocks. Keep your traps shut. Lorenzo will tell him when he comes to. Then pray he don't come to. some concussion. My father would do a better job. But he won't be back until the day after tomorrow. How long will Lorenzo be like that? A day? A week? Who knows? I was below, doing the charts. Him, he was at the wheel. Good hand, or so I thought. Next thing, we're on the rocks. But did the ship sink at once? Miss, we were carrying pig iron. She sank like a stone. It wasn't your fault. I'm the captain. I take the blame. Now my ship's gone, and scavengers are picking the bones. Trap's ready. We'll get you up to Coates' farm. No. To the beach. I had me papers in a satchel. I lost them abandoning ship. They may have washed ashore. But it's dark. I need them. Are you sure you Miss, I'm all right. You should go down to the shipwreck, Manfred. There's all sorts of things there. Canvas, ropes, you might be able to use some of it. No, the broken pieces of a good ship. I don't want to see that. Bye. the ship crashing on the rocks like that. I mean, even if the helmsman wasn't looking, what were the rest of the crew doing? Asleep or drunk, if I know sailors. All of them. Wouldn't surprise me. Now, don't leave the mail out in the open. I never do. Postmaster? Postmaster. Well, we won't know what happened until this Lorenzo chappy wakes up. Still a bit strange. Could I have the mail delivered today, please? Yes, Postmaster. Oh, I bet they can't wait to get home, poor lads. The captain was more worried about finding his ship's papers. Well, they won't be much use to him now. The mail. Yes, Postmaster. If I didn't tell her, it wouldn't get done. Yes, Postmaster. Miss Vicky. Any mail? I'm sorry, Lewis. All your lady friends appear to have forgotten you. <laughs> One for Mr. Coates, though. Oh, well. How's Captain Pollock? He's packed his crew off to town already. 
that him and the mate are hanging on to find those papers. You know, he's very anxious. Why? I don't know. And none of them were talking. About what? About how a ship went on the rocks in broad daylight. Uh, something was badly wrong out there. Come, boy. Come. Come. Leave. 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 Come, boy. Come. Manfred? He, he walked into farm. He's a stray, I think. I saw a dog like that at the beach. I'm sure it's the same one. From the ship, yes. Don't let him bark. Jenny was sitting up half the night with that sailor. She's still got her calls. I will feed him. He's starving. Captain Pollock never mentioned a dog. Do you think he belonged to the captain? I don't know. Why? I have a dog just like him in Germany. Her name is Brunhilde. Whose name is Br... Where in heaven's name did that come from? There is salt in his coat. We think ashore from the wreck. Take him outside. Why? There are strict quarantine regulations about animals coming into this country. Can I keep him? He will take the place of Brunhilde. After passing quarantine, and if not claimed... Come on, boy. Come on. Brunhild? Yes, from Wagner's opera. Hey, She's and there. Manfred, tie him up. I think I'll call him Alberich. Or Siegfried. Pogner? Poggy the doggy? Aqua. Aqua. Morte. Are you all right? Aqua. Morte. You're all right. You're safe. We'll look after you. You're on our farm. I think he's off your ship. I do. I do. Hide? Hide from what? Last night, I have not had a wink of sleep. Do you mind if I snatch a few minutes now? I'm sorry, I'm building a kennel. Are you sure it's big enough? Well, he must have room to move around. You can take him for a walk as long as you keep him on a leash. I will finish later. Please. the dog, and brucellosis. This dog will make an old woman out of me. Why, oh why, did Father pick this week to be at a medical conference? Jenny? Hmm? What do you think Lorenzo meant when he said hide? I think he was still a bit delirious. Is he sleeping all right now? Yes. Well, I wish I was. <laughs> oh, come on, you must. 
my sneak out. He won't eat because you're overfeeding him. He won't drink his water either. You really want to keep him? I would like to very much. He might belong to Lorenzo. I hope not. If I see the captain, I'll ask him. I think he's still down at the beach. Why is that? There's nothing left of his ship. I don't know. Bye. Somebody scavenge them then. I have to search every farm for the next 20 miles. You haven't found your papers yet? No. Lorenzo's much better. Has he woken up? Not yet. Oh, but we found a dog. A big one. The one that was on the beach. Eh? Ah, uh, no, Missy. Never had no dogs on board. But surely he must have... Said no dogs. Come on. We've searched enough. Let's get back. That dog. Maybe they should. If they find out what happened, it's jail for all of us. You want that? Now come on. Did they mention a satchel? What sort of satchel? I don't know, but your sons may have seen it on the beach yesterday, or even brought it home. Oh, they've not been up to mischief, I hope. Have you boys been up to mischief? No, ma. Uh -huh. We haven't. It's just some wood we brought back. It's under the tarpaulin over there. Uh, I might have found something. I'll go and have a look. No, I look. You keep working. Uh, Finn knows where to look, ma. You fix the roof, or I'll stand you under that leak all night. Here it is. Oh, you found it. Good. Uh, could you put the cover back, please, Miss Vicky? Aye. It might rain. Wait. The demon drink. You might quite shy, Mas. Thank you, Mrs. Connor. A pleasure, dear. You just wanted to see what it tastes like, Ma. You all get a taste all right when you come down out of there. And you'll have to come down sometime. Thank you, Manfred. Look in on Lorenzo a couple of times, will you? I'll be back this afternoon. Did you sleep well? No. Well, Poggy, not the only one down in the dumps. When I said we had the dog, they seemed very scared. Aye, they poked it clean out of the valley. Why? Look at this. Two cargo manifests. The bills of lading don't add up. What does that mean? An old trick here, Constable. It explains why they were insure. Yes. My guess is they were delivering stuff straight onto the beach to avoid customs. Smuggling. Aye. The ones that take delivery tend to make quite a nice profit. Yes, they would. You go to jail, Mr. Burton. Oh, of course, of course. Quite right, too. They don't know I found the papers. It was the dogs that scared them, I'm sure. Look. On this one, it says two pairs of boar hounds. And Captain Pollock said they had no dogs. They didn't, legally. They were scared. Aye. Scared of being caught. Thanks, young lady. Done well. Yes. Well done, Victoria. Hide. What did Lorenzo mean? Hide from what? He was scared, too. Before you spill your water, I'll get some more. 
Hey, when I'm finished with work, we'll go for a good run. Vicky. Sorry. It's what Lorenzo was muttering. My grandfather took me to Italy so I can understand a little. Something about water and death and dogs. Well, maybe this word hide means something in Italian. <gasps> Perhaps the dogs got out of control. There were ten men on that ship. Well, your Lorenzo will tell you when he wakes up, if he speaks English. He does. When he came to, I told him where he was and he nodded. Then I told him about the dogs, and he got scared. Hide. Hide. Well, why hide the dog when everyone knew where it was? I think he was trying to warn us. Say something about the dogs. That something was wrong with the dog. I better go and get Samuel's veterinary dictionary. There. Of course he doesn't use it anymore. <laughs> H. There's nothing there. And I've never heard of grown men being scared of dogs. And I've certainly never heard of sailors scared of water. Scared of water? Not H-I. H-Y. Symptoms. Obsessive fear of water. No, it couldn't be that. Couldn't it? Fear of water! Lord. Miss Picky! We have to warn Manfred! Burton, get your gun. Oh no, the new house is ready. Would you care to inspect it? I'll see how Mr. Lorenzo is and, and get you some more water, and then we'll go for a good run, huh? said the captain intended to sneak in and make the drop at night. The dogs may have been carrying the disease for months. Three of them suddenly went rabid and, well, you can imagine the panic. And the ship went on the rocks. Well, if the captain reported rabid dogs, he may have been asked about all his cargo.
Everything's burned. I'm sorry, Manfred. I know. He was a fine dog. He was in pain. There was nothing we could have done. We could not let him suffer. 